Hello everybody and welcome or welcome back to my channel! As you can see by the title, today's video is a much 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 needed closet clean out for 2024. It is currently the 5th? The 6th. It is the 6th of January. I just got back from Melbourne only a few days ago so I've been waiting and waiting and waiting to do this clean out. As you can see, my room is it's very very tiny and I have a lot of things that I just need to get rid of to free up some space. So this rack here is my hanging space. I have a chest of drawers here. Basically, I'm gonna just go section by section, try everything on, see what works, see what doesn't work anymore, and we're just gonna be piecing back the closet bit by bit. So yes, this is going to be a try on closet clean out, which I'm a little nervous about to be honest because I have a lot of clothes to get through so I'm gonna try my best to try everything on. All my bottoms I've just decided to put them into categories so I've got skirt, pants and short. This will get to later on and this will get to later on. Those are dresses and like cardigans that were just kind of like in the mix because you know it happens. We'll start off with skirts because there is a massive pile of skirts and I definitely definitely need to get rid of some of these. A lot of this stuff won't be ironed because obviously I've just taken it out. Some stuff won't be affected as much but please just ignore the items like this one that just looks kind of ridiculous. So starting off with this skirt, I do really like it. I feel like it's super versatile. It's got pockets which is always a nice thing to have on a skirt or a dress. I don't know. We're gonna keep it. Okay, another thrifted maxi skirt that I am keeping. I just love this skirt. I love the low waist because it gives it such a long length and it's just super cool. It's super casual. It's comfortable. It's just one of those that you chuck on. Okay, so this is going to be the first item that I'm getting rid of. I did thrift this in one of my slightly recent thrift hauls and a lot of people loved it and I really loved it too at the time but honestly, I just, I don't wear it and I don't see myself going to wear it. This skirt keeping, I really don't have many short skirts and this one always comes in handy especially if I'm like on like a day to the bee. This maxi skirt definitely had her moment in my wardrobe but it's just not my style whatsoever at least at this point in time. This skirt I love it I'm 100% keep. This skirt was another work skirt so it is now saying bye. I remember when I bought it and I was like I would never wear this the only place I'd wear it to is work and I'm sure I literally wore it once to work and that frustrates me so much. Kind of cute but I never wear it and I've got that other brown skirt so I'm gonna get rid of this one. Honestly where the hell am I gonna wear this? Okay, this skirt is cute. It's a corduroy brown midi skirt. I just think that's such a vibe, but honestly, it was a struggle to get this over my butt. And that's it. It doesn't fit. This skirt I thrifted not too long ago, and I do really love it. It is just this brown maxi skirt. And the print on it is sort of like this, like it looks like work trousers almost. This skirt is gorgeous, but it's honestly just a bit too small on me, so gonna have to say goodbye. Okay, this one I love, love, love. I thrifted this in Queensland only about two weeks ago and I've already worn it quite a few times. Also keeping, it's just a basic floral printed skirt. Oh, this skirt actually kills me. I love this skirt and I thrifted it and I have never worn it. But in saying that, it's definitely like an occasional skirt, so I don't feel entirely guilty that I've never worn it. I'm just still like, where am I gonna wear it? I just love the fabric. I know that like some people will be like, what? Like it's not even that big of a deal. You know when something has just like such a like a luxe sort of fabric? It's from Victoria's Secret. It's just so, I just feel like girly and like pretty. And I honestly just feel like one day I'm gonna have a nice dinner or something and I can wear this. So I think I'm gonna hold on to it. This skirt I also thrifted just a couple weeks ago with that other sort of gray and black one. And this has this sort of print on it. I think the print is actually really pretty. And yeah, it's just another midi skirt. Okay guys, so that was skirts and I'm marking off my little tally at the moment. I got rid of eight skirts in total. We're now onto shorts and we're starting off with these jorts that I will be keeping because I literally just bought them the other day. Um, they're literally Really just jaw these black corduroy shorts I'm gonna say goodbye to okay these little high-waisted shorts I've drifted not too long ago and I just feel like they're super cute kind of remind me of like bloomers especially because they sort of go up to the side there but they're still like really comfortable okay these linen shorts I'm also saying goodbye to I do really love the fit of these and I feel like they're really comfortable they're really cute I just hate this bow like I'm not gonna lie if you see like 
the bow is just so there like I feel like if they were just like a plain something it would make sense but the bow it's just it takes up too much it kind of becomes like a statement part of it which I just don't really like okay first pair of jeans I've got are these Tommy jeans I feel like I'm gonna hold on to these ones they are just a standard pair of jeans I feel like they're more of a straight leg but they've got like a slight flare to them um but I kind of like it cargoes I'm keeping they need to be ironed right now other than that I'm definitely keeping my cargoes these are like my all-time favorite pants these I'm gonna say goodbye to they're cool they're chill but just the color not my style but yeah I'm gonna say goodbye to these ones these cargoes I'm keeping I find them so flattering I love them I think I just think they're really cool and that's about it all right next up is three pairs of trousers that i am keeping so a quick little montage I've got these brown ones bay and black Okay, so my camera just died on that last clip. And whilst I've been charging it, I've just been like laying down on TikTok, I'm not gonna lie. I only have like four pairs of trousers left and two of them I'm getting rid of and two of them I'm keeping. So I'll show those in a second. Um, but I feel like I need a coffee before we get back into this. Once I finish with the trousers, it kind of makes sense to like go into the tops, but I kind of really just want to go into this bloody rack because it's so annoying to look at. Like I hate looking at it because there's so many pieces of clothes clothing on there that I just don't like whatsoever or I know that I'll never wear and I just hate looking at it and that's what's been making me need to do this closet clean up but like I've genuinely just been waiting because I always wanted to film my clean out I've been like waiting for that I think I'm gonna go on to that stuff next and yeah but first I need a coffee so let's go see what my options are I kind of feel like an iced coffee just because like it's hot right now also I think it's about two o'clock right now and I do have plans to go see my friends for a drink at four so I've only got about two hours. I've got like a sachet of vanilla latte. Otherwise, we've literally just got like this Makona stuff. My mom's got like this pod coffee, but it's like we don't have actually have a coffee machine, but she's got this weird little coffee machine, but I kind of just can't be bothered to do that right now. So I might just have the vanilla latte to be honest. Also, I'm trying to decide like what I'm gonna Vivian. What's wrong? Water? You're gonna have to have dry food, Vivian, because you've already eaten today. So don't try to trick me again. Mm. Hello. Hello. Mm. All right, taste test. That's actually really nice. Oh my God, that's actually really nice. I'm gonna do that more often. I never really make like an iced coffee with the sachets. Oh my God, I love that. Okay, so like I said, I've got four pairs of trousers. I'm just going to try on the ones that I'm keeping. These, I'm, yes, I did just thrift these and these in like my second last video that I thrifted. And as much as I do like them, they give a really cool vibe. They're just not my style. I was convincing myself. I'm also saying goodbye to these jeans, which I did say goodbye to in my last closet clean out, but then I pulled them back out of the bag one day. I needed jeans for like work or something. Okay, the next pair of pants are these trousers. They're gray pinstripe trousers. And then the last pair of pants are these jeans. They're just a really low waisted, like slouchy, baggy, casual pair of jeans but yeah I just need to style them a little bit more but they're pretty cool so I'm gonna keep these because I literally bought them like five days ago okay guys so this is now my pants drawer which I'm so happy with it just looks so clean and neat and everything kind of just fits in perfectly and then this middle drawer is all the skirts and then a couple shorts in here as well okay so it's now currently 20 past three so I do have to go and start getting ready for dinner with my friends Okay, it's currently Tuesday, which is four days later. As you can see, I got a haircut as well. So uh, yeah, you can obviously tell that it has been some time since I have attacked the wardrobe and it is pretty much still in the same condition as it was before. I've just been out and about stayed at my boyfriend's for a couple nights so I just have not had the chance to come back to the wardrobe but we're here we're back we've got another coffee and we're ready to go these were in the last clip that you would have seen hello everybody future me here I actually lost the footage of the clips where I was going through like my jackets and cardigans and things like that I'm not gonna lie though I only ended up keeping like three jackets and a cardigan and I just got rid of a couple like ugly cardigans and a flannel and things like that but, but the main bulk of this rack was dresses so I promise that you didn't miss much this I've just pulled out of storage as well because it, it needs to go from storage to salvos this is a little 
little set which it's actually pretty cute like it's like a button-up sort of um like those sets that look like pajamas but they're not pajamas i have worn this before out for a dinner i bought it for that event and i literally have only ever worn it to that event and i've never worn it again the reason i held on to it for so long was because i wanted to dye it black and to keep it as a black set and i feel like that would have worked but honestly i feel like i've dyed things black before and they never actually go properly black so i wouldn't really want to mess around with it i just felt like the smarter option was to take it to salvos like someone will fall in love with it as this color um but yeah i'm never gonna wear this again so this is a goodbye okay next item is this little smock dress i literally had this for work and no other reason my mom gave it to me and i think it was hers previously so the next few pieces including this one are literally just work dresses i never wore them outside of work yeah honestly i'm just gonna chuck in a little montage i think there's about three or four Okay, this next one is cute, but I just feel like it's a little small. I'm gonna say goodbye to this little number because I do have this little black dress. And this one, it does have this sort of velvety design on it. I thought that I had gotten rid of this, but I'm going to get rid of it now. It's just like a little throwover jacket, um, but I very rarely wear it. Like, it is cute, it's whatever. It's just actually a blouse, but I sort of wear it as a throwover. Um, and it is just like this lace material. The reason that I'm gonna get rid of this one is because I have this one instead which is a little more sheer um, but I just feel like it looks a bit nicer and I do actually wear this one much more often I just feel like it gives a lot more texture to the outfit rather than that one just kind of looks like a little jacket I also have this white one which I think is really cute because it's got this um, sort of like curvy hem this one's also got a lace design but it's like a spotty one which is just something a little bit different one that I am umming and ahhing about though is this brown one Oh, I'm really frustrated because I don't know what to do. Like, I don't really wear this one as much because it is brown. I just, yeah, I just don't go to it as much. And honestly, now that I've got it on, like, the sleeves are obviously just like that a little bit too short. Like, they sort of end up here. And it is a little tight-ish. I don't know. I just feel like it's not, like, I'm not, like, in love with it. So I'm going to say goodbye to this one. And I'm just going to keep those two black and white ones. Because, honestly, when I think of all four, those black and white ones I wear all the time. I'm not going to try this one on but I am going to keep it but it basically looks like this dress but with this rose print okay this dress it is super cute it's a little fancy I got this dress for an engagement party which I wore it to about a year ago now I would say it's a really lovely material sort of this like bunched up material it's really great quality I am going to get rid of this one just because like I said I bought it like a year ago to wear to an engagement party I wore it then and I haven't worn it since this little dress I'm totally keeping I only thrifted this one recently and I am obsessed with it. This one, on the other hand, I am going to get rid of. This is actually just a beach cover-up. This one I'm also not going to try on only because it's too small. So, and that's the whole reason I'm getting rid of it. I feel like I've been recording forever and I know that I recorded forever on Saturday. So I've got like about five or so just regular dresses left. So I'm just going to do a quick run through of a keep or throw. And we'll move on to the next main item. Super keep. Keep, throw, too basic. So, so sadly, goodbye. <sighs> Someone else will wear her much more. Another sad goodbye. Hold on to for now. I feel like she's a summer vibe. Okay, so I have just these four dresses remaining. So this one I am going to keep. I'm going to go put it out with my me and my mum's sewing machine to alter. And then this one, same thing. I feel like, I, I don't know, I love this one long. This is the print on it. It's super pretty. I still love this dress long, but I honestly think that I want to make it into a mini. I just have this feeling like this as like a mini with the long sleeves and like some high boots. It's just like such a 60s vibe. You know, like those 60s dresses with the long sleeves and like it's mini. Oh my gosh, and with the tall boots. That is my vision for this dress. So honestly, I think I'm going to take this one also to the sewing machine and I'm literally just going to be a matter of hemming it and fixing it up like that. These last two are both transparent dresses. I thrifted this really recently. I just need to find like a slip dress or something that works underneath it because it is like completely transparent. But I just feel like this is like totally like a 2014 vibe. Um, Like the whole indie. I know it's not indie, but it's like, it's kind of like, it's just some somewhere along, somewhere in that tumbler. It just fits somewhere in there I don't know exactly what vibe it is but it fits somewhere in there and just like with this like roses are so 2014 and this last one I'm 
definitely keeping. I found this also at the op shop and it's got this beautiful bottom. I'm obsessed with it. But like once again, it's completely transparent. So I need to find something to put under it. And I also need to find somewhere to wear it because it's honestly like it looks gorgeous on. It's just like vintage heaven. So this is now my current clothes rack. I feel like it has completely changed. It's so much less cluttered and there's less going on i'm not gonna lie this blue is kind of bothering me so i think i'm gonna pop that like towards the back here just so it's a bit hidden and it can kind of go with that blue polo um and blend in there i guess i feel like it... <gasps> sonic I feel like there's definitely a bit of a style going on there. See, we've got like the reds and the beige and the black. I can probably fix it up a little bit more if I have the time eventually to like shuffle things around. Um, but I really do need to get onto like the tops and move onto that section because I do have to kind of go soon, but it'll be fine. Phase, oh, guys, I'm just so happy. Like now we've just got tops and shoes and we're going to be completely done and I'm so excited. So I've got uh, singlets, t-shirts and long sleeve tops on the back. I am just going to like speed run through the show. I'm going to start off with singlets. Obviously starting off with current one, keeping. Super Y2K, keeping, keeping and throwing. Had to convince myself to the max on the last closet clean out and still have not worn her. So goodbye. I will keep. Super cute detailing and love, love, love this one. Definitely keeping. Keeping this one and saying goodbye to the other. And also saying goodbye to this one because she's just a little too big. And last singlet, keep. Okay, starting off strong with this super colorful button up. This was definitely an impulse purchase. Picked it up and it's just screaming, not my style whatsoever. So I don't know what I was thinking, but um, this one is a definite no. This one I am going to also throw. It's literally the same thing, but in beige. This one on the other hand, she obviously needs an iron, but I will be holding onto her. I feel like a little white button up, you can't go wrong. Now going on to t-shirts, I will be keeping this, this sparkly number but unfortunately i will not be trying her on because the type of material that comes with sparkles it does not go with hot weather i also won't bore you with the basics blue tee with a little logo definitely keeping this one it's just super comfortable super airy and just goes with so many different things also keeping this one it's got my favorite ever quote on it and then another quoted tee we are now ready to tackle shoes and if you can see oh my gosh there is just shoes on shoes on shoes and like it literally just goes all the way in so this needs to get sorted and this needs to get sorted now it's day three we're ready to tackle the shoes it's the next morning just gotten home and i'm ready to tackle these shoes this is the last part of the closet clean out and this is the part that i'm most excited for because like i showed you guys in that very last clip it is just an entire mess in here i don't know i don't even know if i want to keep this rack situation going or if i want to kind of do something else with them if i'm able to these loafers i am going to say goodbye to them i like these loafers but i do really want some that uh, just like scream to me a bit more on the top here as you can see i've got boots i'm struggling with these ones because i do want to keep them all and i think i can keep them all these i'm 100 percent keeping they're just super good quality i feel like they're just such a classic style of boot my docks i am going to keep just because they're docks once again they're a classic boot they're never really going to go out these are the ones that i'm like oh, do i keep them i do really like them and i get so many compliments on these i'm kind of thinking to keep them because i've got the tall boots the ankle boots and then I've got the docks which are like the lace up boots so I feel like it's fair enough to have I feel like it's fair enough to have those different options of boots okay next layer of shoes I'm honestly starting to think that I'm gonna need a coffee because I'm getting a little like you can do it good girl good girl You know what? I do need a coffee. Like, I'm okay, but you know when you're just, like, struggling, you can just feel it's, like, ugh. Yeah. I'm gonna need a, that coffee. I'm going to go into these boots first just because we just did boots and these are my last pair. These are some cowboy boots that I thrifted a little while ago and I am gonna have to get rid of them because I feel like they are just slightly too small for me. Um, it was one of those finds where at the time cowboy boots were like all the rave, like it was like the Pinterest vibe with the skirts and the cowboy boots and all that and they were really cute and they still are really cute but yes they were definitely one that I just 
was like, no, I'm going to make them work. These sneakers, I'm going to keep. These are just some Adidas sneakers. They're kind of like similar to like the New Balance style where they're like a chunky sneaker. These are the exact same situation as the cowboy boot. Yeah, they're just the slightest bit too small. These I'm 100% keeping. These ones actually do fit me perfectly. Um, they are these little vintage heels, but these are super cute. They just like a little bar look. They just make a bar look. So, so cute. My Converse, it is time for these to go. Look how like raggedy and ugh, those are. These I'm also saying goodbye to. The saddest part is that these are pretty new. I've literally worn them like once, but they just kind of, they're kind of painful to wear, honestly. Cloud slides. Cloud slides I'm going to get rid of. I actually do like these and I think they're still in and I'm not going to lie, I'm going to buy another pair. Um, I just don't like this color. That I want them in like a black or a gray or something like that. Same bloody story as half of the other shoes on here could be one size bigger these heels i'm gonna say goodbye to line i do think i'm gonna get rid of them i'm not the biggest fan of like this sort of detailing on them next pair of heels i am gonna hold on to they are like just this red hair these i'm also going to keep these are my literal go-to pair of sneakers i wear every day they just really need a wash i'm also gonna keep these ones and probably give these ones a bit of a wash these i'm getting rid of they just are a little worn out and like I could just do with a new pair. These pair of runners I'm keeping because they are like my pair of runners. These old school vans keeping because I do get a lot of use out of them and I feel like they're a very long lasting pair of shoe. These ones on the other hand, I got these when I went to Hawaii and I did love them. I got these back in like 2017 um, but I'm just not into the checker anymore. And then last but not least, I've got these heels and these heels I am going to keep. They're nothing special. They're just like a good pair of shoes to have handy. Okay, so that was all my shoes. They are kind of in piles at the moment on the floor so I need to like quickly sort them and see what I can do to like restack them on here and I'm gonna do that and I'm gonna be back in three two one okay so I ended up getting rid of the rack and I really just kept these four shoes here so I've got my boots just because they were too tall to put anywhere else I've got my two pairs of sneakers that I wear all the time I've just got these ones on show because they're kind of cute and then I ended up actually just creating a little storage basket under here for all of my like shoes that I don't really wear that often so like my runners my vans I pull out every now and then and then my heels and then right in under the bed I've got like the dogs and the other boots just because because it's summer at the moment and I'm literally never wearing them so they are just tucked right under for the moment and my room is finally complete you guys it is a couple days later after that last clip um I have just been like tidying up my room and sorting it how I want so I'm going to give you guys a little mini tour in a second but I'm so so happy with how it's turned out I was able to get rid of the shoe rack and there is just so much more space in here I've changed around a few things with my desk and sort of turned it into a little vanity situation and I just feel like my room Room is coming together but anyways here's a little tour of the final result this is my closet situation which I just think it looks so much neater I still actually haven't really gone and rearranged things how I want it I actually think they're kind of okay at the moment now that I'm looking at it I'm like oh it's a bit bunched up with red in the middle but I will sort this <laughs> eventually I did take the bags that were hanging off it and I've just kind of popped them like underneath into the corner i did end up also just like clearing up the dresser the top of the dresser i'm not sure if you guys really saw but there was a bunch of like jewelry stuff and it was just looking really cluttered so i've gone down and like minimalized that a bit and then i've got my little vanity here which is actually a new addition this was previously just a desk like it basically just looked like this but without the mirror the mirror is like super dirty and definitely needs a clean so i'm sure that's showing up in the camera really embarrassingly but i will also get to that as soon as possible. So this is the end of the video guys. I'm so so glad with the end result of this clean out. And if you made it to this far in the video, thank you so much for enduring the entire video because this one was definitely a long one. We had lots to get through but I hope that you guys enjoyed it and I hope I didn't bore you too much with the kind of just like repeated nature of this video. Please make sure to like and subscribe if you wish. It would help me out so much and I would really appreciate it. And if you're into lifestyle content, I have been quite active on shorts recently so definitely check that out i am going to admit right now that i am probably merging this channel more so into lifestyle content i feel like this video particularly was kind of like a mix of the fashion and the lifestyle it kind of 
fits into both categories but I will say for my subscribers that have subbed only for the fashion content um I'm really sorry but I will be leaning a lot more into lifestyle content this year it's just more of my passion and I feel like I can only do so many thrift hauls I can't go thrifting like every week and it was just becoming exhausting honestly I felt like this closet cleaner really showed me that I was just over consuming in that kind of regard I definitely will still be posting fashion content like here and there um but I just don't think it'll be the main focus of this channel anymore so I know that I'm probably gonna lose some subscribers over that but I just wanted to be completely honest and let you guys know so you're not like what is going on with this channel once again thank you so so much for watching this video I hope you guys loved it and I hope to see you in the next one peace out